Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Tao, your favorite goddess, and welcome to Tao's world. In this video, we are going to unleash the divine feminine energy for seduction and manifestation. All it requires you to do is tap into that divine feminine. So I am going to teach you how to tap into that divine feminine here. Let's talk about how to harness that energy. First, it's the self-awareness for me. When someone knows who they are, isn't that sexy? When I'm harnessing my divine feminine energy, I am truly aware of what's going on. I'm aware of myself and I'm aware of others. When I'm talking to somebody, I am very intentional of what I say. But who are you seducing? You could be seducing anybody, but I'm gonna use a man as an example, okay? When I am being seductive to a man, I am powerful, I am strong, I am confident, I am love, I am all the things that they want in a woman, okay? Most guys don't care that you're so pretty. Guys love women with personality because if we wanna talk about celebrity couples, it has been shown time and time again that the man's gonna cheat regardless, okay? It's good, they're gonna cheat regardless. Why you took that nigga back after he cheated? So I think what it is, what happened, what, what it is, what happened is that. You don't care how cute you are, if you the it girl on social media, that's fine, but how's that personality and how is it, why are they staying? What is it that is giving them the reason to feel nurturing with you. We're gonna activate the self-awareness. We're gonna work on our lower three chakras. We have our root chakra, sacral chakra, and solar plexus. Let's talk about the root. The root is a very grounded energy. You're stable. You want to be stable in all aspects of your life. Some practices that you can involve yourself in is meditation. Meditation is such a good practice. Mind you, there's many types of meditation. I had to actually talk to somebody somebody about that because they were like, oh, I just don't know how to meditate. Like, And I'm like, meditation is not just like sitting on the ground or, you know, and closing your eyes and listening to silence. Like, realistically, it's loud as fuck, okay, in the world. It's so loud, so I don't expect you to be in silence like that's just not logical so my type of meditation is going outside going outside and walking and i walk alone and please don't that's another thing don't walk in fear don't walk in fear baby because that is not what divine feminine women do we don't walk in fear we walk in truth okay another way would be through your sacral chakra the sacral chakra is where you hold your creativity be original how Aaliyah Core says, Bitch, you know I'm sexy. Ugh, don't call, just text me. Bitches slow can't get on my speed. They stare cause they know I'm the I T G I R L. You know I am that girl. Shh, bitch, don't kiss and tell. <laughs> it girlfriend ain't. She's the it girl. You know I'm sexy. I'm the, the it, the, 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 uh. you know. <laughs> you see, like, you have to be original. Like, she's a black girl who does. Um, alternative core energy and she sings and she's cute she's dark skin yeah she's that girl so you have to be that girl you have to be that person walking in and knowing that you're the shit you're original that's how you're going to be seductive okay you want to attract you want to be receptive. You want to be nurturing. You want to be open. And that's how you get the things that you want. Not just men. Let's be clear. That's that new job. That's that new purse. That's that new house. That's that new opportunity. Now we're gonna emphasize the solar plexus. The solar plexus is where your confidence lies. If you're not confident in yourself, no one's gonna be confident in you. Why would they care about you when you don't care about yourself? Confidence. Every single place that I go, whether in the community or like just anywhere, they're like, your skin is so beautiful. You are so beautiful. Oh my God. And I'm like, oh, well, thank you. Well, I'm gonna tell you about my skincare line. Let, let's talk about it since you think I'm so cute, okay? Like, you know, you gotta be confident. You can't be like, oh, well, thank you and walk away. No, no, no. Thank you, I have a skincare line. Did you wanna like, you wanna follow me on Instagram? Da, 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 da. You know, you gotta like, 
give them something, okay? Because they already see something. So you just gotta give something back and be like, oh, I actually really fuck with her, you know? Or him or whatever. Um, so yeah, make sure you step up confidently, okay, boo? Let's talk about embracing that yin energy. There's many ways to use yin energy for your highest good. The first one is to know how to listen. Listen to oneself. If your body is saying today I need to rest or your body is saying today I need to get active, don't sit your ass in that motherfucking bed. But even in partnerships and friendships and relationships of any type of sort, you need to listen. People don't care that you're gonna yap, 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 yap. No one gives a fuck what you're saying if you're yapping about absolutely nothing. You need to listen. That's yin energy, okay? Another type of yin energy is reflection. Reflecting on who you are, where you're at now, where you came from, all the things. I reflect um, by journaling. I like to journal. Journaling is my thing. We know this, <laughs> right? How are you feeling? What are you feeling in this moment? When you have a disappointment, how are you feeling? Why did why do you feel disappointed? When you're having half, when you're happy, what is this feeling? Where did this come from? You got to journal it out. You got to talk about it, okay? And it's cool to talk to people. Don't get me wrong, because in my relationship, we reflect a lot with each other. We talk about what we're doing good, what we are not doing so good at, and things that is just absolutely perfect. You know, like, don't stop, keep going, this is it. And this reflection allows me to see myself and my partner, okay? But if you don't have these open conversations with self, also with the people around you, then there's no way you would know how to improve and change. Try to be reflective journal or do some mirror work that's also how you're going to increase that confidence and that power is talking to yourself in the mirror and saying i have great interpersonal skills i am receptive i have respect self-love for myself i am so creative i am uh, a money magnet you know you gotta you gotta talk to yourself because once again people won't know unless you know Okay? People don't know unless you know. I want you guys to understand your personal power. Understand who the fuck you are because you are that what? Girl, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> the last thing that you can do is book my goddess coaching. Where we talk more in depth about harnessing your divine feminine energy. If you really like this content, like, comment, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And please tell me your thoughts. How do you use your personal power? How do you harness your divine feminine energy? I would love to know. Please put in the comments. I love you guys and see you in the next video.